Hello everyone, Dippo aka Bob here. I am here to bring you guys another bucket plugin tutorial. Welcome to tutorial number three. Alright, so today we're going to be going over basic commands. Now, commands are a very special part of bucket. They let you, uh, there are sorry, plugins in general and even Minecraft in general. There's quite a bit of vanilla commands now. But uh, what commands allow you to do is just run commands and um, they let you to perform certain tasks when you want to by letting chat know that you want to do it. So, um, it's a very cool thing, and uh, we're going to get into how to make a heal command today that will heal um, either a player specified or the player that is yourself. Some of this stuff may be a bit confusing right off the bat, but um, just stick with it, and hopefully uh, you guys can understand it in the end. I'll try and explain things as we go. For now, just copy what I do, and um, yeah, we'll try and do that. So, um, I apologize if my typing is not the best today. My microphone is kind of in front of my face. All right, let's go with it. Public boolean we're gonna make a new method this is gonna be um, what's called whenever we run a command and uh, you're just gonna call it on command so what this is saying oops what did I do nope don't do that okay uh, what this is saying it's gonna have a public class it's gonna be it's gonna return boolean which I'll get into in a little bit and then it's gonna be called on command now we put uh, we're gonna put two parentheses and we're gonna have some stuff inside these parentheses this is very important that you have these exact arguments because uh, it can get uh, messy if you don't. So here we go. We're going to go command sender, sender, comma, and then command, command, string, label, oops. And then after that, we're going to go string array args. Now this part, um, are the uh, some of these things in here might be a bit, a bit, oh, a bit confusing, um, but for now we're just going to import all these different classes. For that, you can just click them, and then wait for IntelliJ. Click on this little red thing, import class, and we're going to go with org.bucket.command. Now here, click it again, import class, and there we go. Now we have our classes imported. All right. So in here at the bottom of this, we're just going to go return false or actually we'll go with true all right so return true now um okay so if you guys don't know a, bo a boolean value is just what i put right here true or false it's basically saying is this thing true yes or no it's it's very simple there's only two options that it can be true or false now um when you return something it means if someone they it means they can use this method which is a group of code in another method as a um, boolean value so where you would usually put true you could uh, substitute it with this on command method um, now we're gonna get into a couple a, a bit of things with if statements and if statements just check uh, if something is true or false it's gonna do one thing if it's not true or sorry if it's true it's gonna do one thing if it's false it's gonna do another so uh, we're gonna get into that right now by uh, this next statement so if label which is that variable we described at the top so if label dot equals ignore case. Now this is a very important part of it because um, we're going to put another string inside here. We're going to make a command called heal. And um, so we're just going to put two quotation marks and put the word heal inside of them. So as you can see here, it says if label dot equals ignore case heal, then you put another brace and close it off. So this, what this is going to say, it's going to say if, which is very similar to what you would use in like the English language if, like, is this going to be true? Is it not? So you go if the label, which is the string that they put in as their command, is equal to, but the key part here is this part where it says right here, ignore case. So that means if someone were to type in there, uh, heal, it would still work, or heal, or something like that. Any weird casing and stuff like that, it's going to completely ignore that as long as the letters in there say heal. So that's a very important part <laughs> and um, just something to keep in mind. So the next part we're going to get into is, um, as you can see, this little sender, this command sender right here, this variable is the person who sent the command. Now, this can be two things. It can either be a player or it can be the console. So we have to do something special if it's the console because we don't want, the console can't heal itself because it doesn't actually have hearts. And that's what we're going to be doing in this. So, <clears throat> excuse me, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to have another if statement and it's going to be if sender instance of 
player, sorry, instance of player, yeah. Then, and then we're gonna have a new thing in here, um, else, and then another block of code. So this is gonna say if it's true, or if, if the label is heal, we're gonna move on. And then um, once you move on, it's gonna say is the sender, which is the person who sent the command, are they a player? Now player is something that we actually have to import, so just select it. Click on the little exclamation point and click import class. Um, but it's going to say if it's a player. So if this is someone who has gone into their Minecraft client and they're typing in some, like they just type in a command like slash heal. If it's it's going to say if it's a player, do this. If it's a console, do this. So now we're going to get into here. So if it's a player, we're just going to um, we're going to go sender or sorry we're new player player. We're going to make a new variable that's a player equals player sender now this part's a bit confusing here so what we're saying is we're gonna get a make a new player uh, this is a variable that's gonna store the person that sent the command which is a sender and um, th this instancing and uh, this casting right here is a bit confusing to understand at first but uh, basically what it's this sender can be anything it can be multiple different things it can be the command it can or, sorry it can be the console or it can be a player and in this case we want um, to make sure that it's a player so this is just letting Java know, or letting your plugin know that the sender is in fact a player. So um, that's just something, it's a bit confusing to grasp right away, and it's okay if you don't quite understand it, but still it's something very important that you include, because um, you'll get an error if you don't include this casting right here. See, it, it'll say, oh no, you can't be, that's not a player. So all we gotta do is toss a player, and also the capitalization for the beginning of player is very important. You have to make sure that when you capitalize letters and stuff that they stay consistent throughout. And um, since player is an object, or um, since player, yeah, it's an object, so you have to make sure that you capitalize the P on there. All right, now we go into here. So if the if the sender is an instance of a player, then we are going to go player dot set health player dot get max health right here. All right, so what this is going to do, these are methods that are inside the players class, which is um, an object. So this is uh, things you can do to each player. So it's going to say player set health. So this is going to set their hearts to whatever their maximum amount of hearts they can have is. So that's that's just letting you know what it, what it does. And um, now actually, we can add this to our plugin.yml and give it a shot. So we're um, once we finish up this, we're just going to we should be good so let's go over to our plugin.yml and we're gonna add a new late we actually have to add a new uh, little section to here we're gonna go commands colon enter and uh, this is very important that you don't use tabs here because tabs can be uh, can mess up the way that yml files work so you actually have to put two spaces and then the word uh, for your command which in this case is heal so we're just gonna do heal a colon another enter two more spaces in and we're going to add a description, and this description is going to say, heal a player, yay. And then for the usage, th now this is um, this usage line is not required, but um, it's something that's good to keep in, in there in case you're going to be returning false, which we'll go into in a little bit. So we're just going to do slash command and then that's it because right now we're just going to run the slash heal command so anyway this is what you should add to your plugin.yml file this is one we made last tutorial so this is just letting your plugin know that heal is a command that it can run and in here we now have our class that says when you're gonna run a command it's gonna heal the player and it's gonna make sure the sender the person sending the command is a player then it's gonna set their hearts to whatever the highest they can be so here we go let's try this out in game all right, guys. Sorry, one more thing. You got it. It's very important that you build your artifacts once you're done. Just make sure to click uh, build, build artifacts, and then the build button. Wait for it to finish up, and then you'll be good to go. So just uh, make sure to do that, and then now we'll check out the in-game. All right, guys. So as you can see here, we have our uh, YouTube tutorial plugin enabled. So uh, we can hop right into Minecraft here. We're just going to go to multiplayer. Uh, I actually haven't connected to anything because I am using a new user on my computer. Uh, just a little heads up if you guys are wondering um, if you're running the server off of your own computer you can just connect to localhost just letting you know so here we go our minecraft server is running oh my goodness why do I have music on okay there we go 
So now you just go to multiplayer, you can join your server. This is one running our plugin currently, so uh, let me just get in here and, and then I have to manage to damage myself. Why do I have a Steve skin? Okay, I'll deal with that in a moment. Anyway, so as you can see, now I've taken damage and my character is damaged and all I have to do is slash heal. And as you can see, it tossed my health right back up to full, which is totally awesome. Our command is working and it recognized everything. So that's really great to know. Now we're going to add a bit more things to um, make the command a little more versatile, per se. All right, back to coding. All right, so now that we're back in the code, let's make something a bit more advanced. So as you can see, we just have right here where we're setting a player's health to their maximum health. So, uh, but let's say you wanted to heal another player. And the way that that's going to work is you would put in, uh, let's say you did slash heal, and then you had a friend named MC Crafter. So let's say I wanted to heal MC Crafter. It's, it's not going to heal him because we haven't added that to our command. So why don't we now? Um, right here, you can see that we're just getting the player, and our player is equaling the sender, correct? Okay, well, what we want to do here is we're just going to add another if statement. If the args.length equals zero. And um, just another heads up for people that are new to Java. If you do two equal signs, or two equal signs like that means um, that this is equal. You can't just say, you make sure you have to have, make sure you have two equal signs because that's how Boolean works. So that's how it checks if these two, if you want to make sure that they're the same, you have to add two equal signs. So if args.length equals equals zero, then it's going to set their health to their maximum health. And then we're going to add else if, and this is going to say bucket.get player. Sorry, we're going to say bucket.get player args zero is not equal to null. Now, this is a bit confusing statement, and let me explain. So, we have bucket, which is getting our server, and it's going to say get player. So, this is going to go through and make sure that, see if there's any player. Um, oops, I messed it up a bit. There we go. It's going to check and see uh, if there's any player online. It's going to try and grab them uh, by whatever your first argument is. So, the way that uh, argument counting goes, so we do slash heal, and then this is argument zero, this is argument one, two, three, four and so on. So we just want to get argument zero, which is their first the first word that they put into their command after the command itself. And we're gonna say if bucket dot get the player at um whatever this argument is, and we're gonna make sure they're not equal to null. Now null means nothing. Null is it, it literally means that there's nothing inside there. So null is uh signifies their it not it being existent inside of Java. So if there is um and this exclamation point equal sign means not equal to. So we're just going to check here and make sure that the player with our string that we inputted is something. So if there is a player there, then what we're going to do is we're going to do player, sorry, player target equals bucket dot get player arg zero. So this is, oops, I kind of messed up a bit. Oh my gosh, I cannot type today. All right. Really can't type today. There we go. Okay, so this is going to make a new player variable called target. And uh, this is going to be of the type player. And it's going to store the person that we want to try and grab. And it, so it makes sure they're online first. And then it's going to store them inside of our variable. So then we're going to go target dot set health. Oops, not set health scale target.set health to target.get max health. There we go. So now we're going to heal our target friend. And uh, you know what? Let's add a couple messages in here. So we're going to do player.send message. And we're going to send them a new string that's going to say, you have been healed. Yay. And then um, in this one, we're going to do player.send message. Oops send message you healed a space a plus sign target dot get name plus and then an exclamation point and another message in here we're going to message the target dot send mess oops send message and we're going to send them a message saying you have if I could type have been healed. 
So let's uh, so sending a message to a player just sends them a chat message. So if you're just healing yourself, it's gonna say you have been healed, and if you're healing someone else, it's gonna say you healed, and then it's gonna put their name there, and it's gonna message them and say you have been healed. So now let's go and test this out in game. So don't forget to build your artifacts, build, and yeah, I'll see you back in game. All right, so now that we're back and we're inside the game, uh, let's find, try and find a way to damage ourselves first. Gotta get damage before you can heal anything. Oh, there's a lot of creepers. Okay, well, at least damaging ourselves shouldn't be too hard in the future. Um, here we go. So all you do is damage yourself, and now we can add slash heal. Let's just check and make sure the message is sent, and it says, you have been healed. Perfect, that's working exactly as we'd like. Now, um, let's damage ourselves again. And this time, we're gonna do slash heal dippo. Now, this is a cool thing about bucket, since we use that bucket.get player method we don't actually have to type their entire name so we can just do slash heal dippo and it'll say you healed dippo ak bob and it'll mess me message me again saying you have been healed now this will work for any other type of any other players that are online oh, we just damage ourselves why don't we heal ourselves again perfect all right so that's working great and um there's quite a few different methods by the way if you guys want to experiment with some more commands when you're back in the code here you can do um there's all types of different things you can do to the player so now that you know how to get the player and uh, target player objects. What you can actually do is go down here and you can do player dot. There's all types of different message in here. We can uh, set their exp or sorry their experience points. You can set their spawn points, or their exhaustion, their f set make them fly, set their speed. All kinds of awesome, awesome things inside a bucket. And um, all those little tiny methods are you, what you can use to make some pretty darn awesome stuff so here we go I'm pretty sure um, let's just add a couple console things so as you can see in the beginning we made sure that they're a player and um, <clears throat> we're just gonna copy some code right here so we're just gonna go over to this method that we have inside here where the arguments are not equal to zero let's just copy all this code right here and we're just gonna paste it in here now let's change things up so there's no issues so we're just gonna do this take out this first line we're going to toss a new line in here and we're going to say sender dot send message and we're going to send them a message saying you can't heal yourself you're not a player so we're just going to let it know that if you try and heal yourself if you don't have any arguments in there you can't heal yourself you're not a player and then in here we're going to make it the target that's fine setting the targets health and we're just going to change this word right here to sender so sender dot send message you healed that there we go so now this is perfect let's go try this out too and we're gonna test out our console commands alright so we're back now let's get ourselves damaged once again and then I'll show you guys the different things you can do uh, with the console commands we'll just send a little command to heal dippo and boom there we go he's damaged let's open up chat so we can just see any messages that come in. Alright, so now we're gonna go to the console here. We're just gonna do run the command heal. It's gonna say, oh my gosh, we can't heal ourselves. We're not a player. Alright, so now that we've realized that we're not a player, we can do heal dippo. And it'll say you heal dippo aka Bob. And as you can see in chat, Dippo has been healed and my health has been set back to full. So that's totally awesome. We now have a working command consoles and uh, it also does different things for players and consoles depending on who sent the command. All right, that's perfect. I think this is just about it for the heal command for today. Uh, sorry, this command, or sorry, this tutorial was a bit shorter than I'd actually like it to be. We'll get into a bit more advanced things in the next tutorial. Um, I apologize if you didn't quite understand everything. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments because I do read them and I do go through and make sure and answer as many as I can. Um, this tutorial is a bit rushed because I haven't posted one in a little while, so um, I'll try and keep on with posting them on time and uh, next time will be a little bit more in depth if you guys have any questions or uh, any suggestions on speed or anything like that just once again just make sure to leave them down below and I will answer them as quickly as possible um, if you're watching this tutorial and it's a bit in the future just make sure to leave a comment on whichever is the latest tutorial um, because I will check those comments more often than the rest so thank you guys very much for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe if you guys like the videos and um, once again have any issues Leave them as a comment down below. If you have really big issues or you just don't understand it, you can send me a private message on YouTube. I do check those or um, whatever you guys would like. So thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I shall see you next time.